Looking at your book, you mentioned a number of conditions that um, where the EMFs could be a root cause. Some were pretty surprising to me, and, and they're conditions that certainly aren't on the decline. Uh, Alzheimer's, MS, um, just immune health in general. Um, those, do we know those conditions are can be tied to EMFs? I was surprised when I started the research because we've had electricity for, you know, since yeah. the 1880s, 1890s, and so over 100 years. But the research definitely shows that just standard household electricity is connected to Alzheimer's. There's just no doubt. So just the electricity alone has led to an increase in Alzheimer's and cancers. So in, And I have that in my book. So that surprised me. And now we add all these additional, you know, we're going up in power. We're, we're now up in the radar range. The 2.4 gigahertz that our cell phones microwaves, uh, smart meters, uh, they're in the radar range. Radar is one to 100 gigahertz, and here we are at 2.4 gigahertz. And they've known for years that sailors at sea were harmed by the radar on the ships. And, and here we are creating a radar environment by all of this. There are many sources of, of EMFs. We talked about uh, that a little bit. Uh, you have Wi-Fi, you have cellular. Um, you know, even things like cordless phones. Are they, are they all different in terms of the frequencies that we're exposed to and are some worse than others? I don't know that some are worse than others. It's the cumulative that we're being impacted by. Um, in my book, I show the frequencies of all the different cell phones around the world. They're all just a little bit different frequencies in the Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi is moving way on up. We've got Wi-Fi up in 50, 60, 80 gigahertz now because they needed to add more bandwidth, more, you know, more ability for people to use all these frequencies. So we're absolutely, you know, moving up in the, in the harmful area. You, you know, I feel like we're all being cooked. We really are. Uh, I've had doctors tell me that uh, you would not believe the number of two-year-olds with cancers once smart meters went into the area. So there's no doubt about the increase in cancer. And you were asking about all these diseases. The oxidation damage that's happening uh, totally ties in the, the MS. It's causing damage in the blood brain barrier, in the spinal cord. Uh, they show, you know, um, a, a permeable blood brain barrier as well as the spinal cord is being harmed by the radiations too. So, uh, so that is causing more problem for MS, uh, either triggering it or making it, exacerbating it. So, and we've got Parkinson's, we've got uh, the diabetes. It increases blood sugar. So people who with a blood sugar problem, uh, you just put a lab animal, turn on a cell phone, and their blood sugar goes up to 130, uh, just the cell phone. And so people are being diagnosed that they've got diabetes when actually they just need to get away from the radiation. So, but that higher blood sugar and lack of oxygen, because what's happening also is that the red blood cells, they should be a nice donut shape. That's their shape to deliver the maximum amount of oxygen. It, it, totally ideally designed. The red blood cells on exposure become a sphere and it changes the electrical charge and they all start sticking together. It's called Rouleau. And so they can't deliver oxygen to the, to the tissues. That's the headache. It's exactly the same as a high altitude headache. You know, I, I've had a high altitude headache from lack of oxygen in the air and, and they're no fun. I mean, I, I could have cared less about the wildlife that was there. <laughs> All I wanted to do was get down and get oxygen in my body again. But that's what's happening. I, I get these calls from all over. I get a headache every time I get on my cell phone. I get a headache every time I walk in my smart metered house. And it's just lack of oxygen. So the lack of oxygen, the increased blood sugar, and the oxidation and the DNA breakage, total setup for cancer. Absolute setup for cancer. That's exactly how the cancer cells start getting generated as well as keep multiplying. So it's all these diseases that we're seeing increasing. The autism, there's no doubt about the connection. The autistic kids show all the biochemical 
uh, things that happen, all those changes that happen from electromagnetic radiation. There is absolutely no doubt. And I have that in the book too. And when cell phones were introduced in the 1970s, autism was actually called childhood schizophrenia. And it was one in 2,222 incidence rate. We are now one in 43 boys. One in 43 boys in that short a time, 1970s till 2015. Absolutely incredible. And it's climbing so exponentially. A uh, researcher has printed that she thinks that one in every other child in a very short time. And this is causing total havoc. And when you look at the damage to the brain from the radiation, there is no doubt. There is absolutely no doubt about this autism.